Good evening, Marshall Reddick members. Thank you so much for joining us on your busy evenings uh, to learn about San Antonio, Texas, where to invest in 2019 and where people have been enjoying investing with us in San Antonio for many years. This economy is thriving, it's strong and growing. One of my favorites and a lot of my clients, I'm close to 500 transactions now, would agree with me that this is a happening market. Little bit about Marshall Reddick Real Estate, if you don't know who we are. I personally am Tanya Lormore, a real estate advisor with the company for six years now, going on seven. And it's such a great place to call home as far as a team, because that's exactly what we are. We have everybody that you would need to do successful real estate transactions. Marshall Reddick Real Estate has been around since 1979. And through that time, we are a real estate brokerage, which means that we're able to do real estate transactions across the United States. We do private money lending, which is a wonderful way to make your money grow for you if you're already maxed out on, on property purchasing. Um, you can either lend your money and make anywhere between 7 to 13% during the duration of your money out. Or if you're buying through a self-directed IRA or a solo 401k, and that might all be gibberish to you at the moment, but we can definitely dive into that later. Uh, you can borrow money unconventionally to purchase real estate. Um, that's a whole division that we run and operate as well. And everywhere that you want to buy with us, we have a property management team in place. That means once you've done all the due diligence and buying a property, you have a place that you can vet prior to closing on your property to manage the investment that you just purchased across the U.S. Um, we also have property management here locally in Southern California, um, from San Diego to LA, Riverside, big radius, uh, growing, and check us out online. Tons of awesome reviews. Uh, what we do is everything that you would need from contractors, lenders, insurance agents, attorneys, all the top resources to help your transactions be a success. This is me, licensed California broker. Um, I'm renewing my, <laughs> my credits right now, so I'm coming up on eight years. I uh, grew up with this company, Marshall Reddick Real Estate. I was coming because my parents brought me to these events. So um, I kind of grew up, my parents grew up in real estate. Both their parents did it. So ever since I was a child, I was helping turn over our tenants when they would move out and getting new people in. So I've always had a passion for it. Uh, with that, I decided to help people in uh, learning how to expand their portfolios, whether that was in real estate or finance. So I got my uh, finance degree from Cal State Long Beach. And so when you want to go over any numbers on how properties work, I'm here to help. It's been a tremendous time here. I'm close to 500 transactions now. Just love what I do. Come out and visit us. Where to invest? This is always the key topic that people ask me when I have consultations with them, either in person or over the phone. They say, where is the best place to buy? And that answer is very different for everybody that I speak with. Everyone's in a different place in their life. Everybody wants something different from an investment property. So why it is that Marshall Reddick has chosen the areas that we're in are heavily influenced by these topics. Is the job market strong? Is the vacancy rate during downtime low? Um, we typically get vacancies filled within 30 days. That's usually what we aim for or less. Economic diversity, is the housing affordable? Is it a landlord friendly state? So Texas is very landlord friendly, which is a huge appeal. California, on the other hand, do you guys think that it is landlord friendly? 
feel free to talk to me, say hello. Um, off to the bottom right, there's a place that you can actually chat with me. Uh, go ahead and type, yes, it is affordable here in California. No, it's not affordable. Is it landlord friendly? Is it not? Just want to make sure that you guys can find that before I continue. All right, perfect. You are right, it is not. <laughs> Great. And so another thing is, are there like big colleges nearby? Is the property management reliable that will take care of your property afterwards? These are all the reasons that we have chosen specific areas to invest. And here are the markets that we're in. The areas outlined in the green box are areas that we actually do property management and do real estate under the Marshall Reddick Real Estate Brokerage. The other areas we have affiliates that we work with and do referrals with. Let's go ahead and take a quick poll. This is something that I like to do to help you guys stay engaged. Plus, it helps us understand how we can help you. So. Tell us, Christina and I, a little bit about uh, why you're here tonight. Go ahead and click on the bubble that makes sense for you, and then I'll share the polls so that you guys can see that other people are on here, may have the same interests, may not have the same interests. The uh, answers are, I have no idea why I am here. I already own property in San Antonio, Texas, and I'm here to learn more. My advisor told me to watch tonight's presentation. I'm interested in cash flow opportunities. I'm interested in San Antonio for appreciation. Go ahead and mark your things and then hit the submit. All right. So it looks like a lot of you guys are here because you're interested in the cash flow opportunities from what you've been reading on Forbes and all those money magazines and articles through the newspapers. So we're really excited to share why it's growing and how your response can be tied into your goals. All right, I think next we're gonna introduce my coworkers in San Antonio, Christina. Thank you so much for joining us. I know you're two hours ahead, so let's take it away. Thank you, Tanya. Yes, hello everyone. Thank you so much for taking time tonight to join our webinar and learn more about the San Antonio market. It's a great market. We have a full team and staff in San Antonio uh, that's a uh, property management team, as well as leasing agents that help lease out vacant properties. And then myself, I'm the sales agent. And that's a picture of the front of our office um, and then our team. And we have been growing really fast. It's just wonderful. So uh, let me go ahead and just move on to the next slide. Okay, and that's a picture of myself. Um, of course, a licensed realtor here in San Antonio, Texas. Um, I own investment property myself. So I am a, an investor. Um, I've been in the mortgage and business and real estate business for a long time, since 99. Before I became an agent, I was a, in a loan officer for 15 years, and then I transitioned as a real estate agent. And I do have two kids uh, married uh, to a military air force. Uh, and then we have two kids, keep those very busy. I love it though. Okay, so this just explains our services. Uh, let me go back. It explains all our services that we do. Uh, we have cells, that's myself. I can help you identify um, a property, uh, go over the numbers, breakdown, cash flow, financials everything about that that area in the property we have the leasing uh, team that help you know with the leasing side and then of course the property management we're full service property management team so we specialize in helping you find single family homes to multifamily, duplexes triplexes and even up to fourplexes so everything is one-stop shop uh you know it's turnkey you don't have to shop around for a, a you know a the property manager after you close, everything is handled all within the same team and myself. 
So it makes it so much easier for you. Uh, this is a map of the San Antonio, um, a grid of the San Antonio map here. It's a big city, it really is. Um, we have, we're known for military city because we have four military bases. Two bases on the far west side of San Antonio and two bases on the northeast side. We also have a lot of entertainment. Um, we get a lot of tourism. We have the downtown river walk. We have six flags uh, and then we have sea world. There's a lot of fun stuff to do. And then there's a lot of corporations and businesses in San Antonio because their land's still affordable. So there's a lot of businesses that are relocating to, to Texas and San Antonio. Um, so the job market is very healthy. So where there's healthy job market, you get a lot of rental. You get a lot of people looking to rent. And that's a picture of our downtown river walk. It's beautiful. I encourage anybody to go come and visit. Our weather is amazing. It does get hot in the summer, but you know, we're used to the heat. Um, but we do have a lot of sunny days. And of course, the picture of the Alamo. The military Air Force signs there. USAA is one of one of our huge employers. They employ over 22,000 employees. Uh, we have our San Antonio Spurs, of course, and then we have a lot of colleges and universities. UTSA is our are, are one of our major universities, which is the uh, University of Texas at San Antonio. So we do get a lot of tenants that actually work in that university. And we have a lot of private universities as well. We got the law school and then we have the medical uh, university where, uh, you know, nurses and doctors train. So it's, it's a good, healthy market. Okay, so this shows the popular, or yeah, our population over the years, all the way back from 2000. We've been growing so much. Every year, Keep more people keep relocating here. It's all over the different, um, you know, websites and newsletters as I see how many people are, are relocating, a lot from California, but also other parts of the country. And the reason is, is because it's affordable to live here. Uh, we don't have any state income tax. Our average, you know, home is about $250,000 house. And that's like a nice home. That's like a 2,000 square foot, three bedroom house in a good area. So, you know, our mortgage payments aren't that high. Our gas is low right now. Our gas is only $2 and like uh, 15 cents a gallon right now. So everything is very affordable um, in San Antonio. So we started off at like 1.1 million in 2000, but now the slide shows 2017. Now it's actually closer to 2 million, especially when you include all the um, surrounding areas. Um, around San Antonio, it's close, it's actually well over 2 million. So, and we keep seeing it, you know, over the years with traffic growing as well. Um, we do have, um, we do get rain um, every now and then. It's not all the time. It's not like Seattle hot rains all the time, but we do get rain quite a bit. Uh, we don't have any major uh, weather like tornadoes or hurricanes because we're so far inland. We don't get that, the, the hurricanes or anything like that. Um, and then we do have a lot of sunny days per year, around 220 sunny days. So our temperatures do get pretty high in the summer. You know, they're always going to be in the 90s, if not the 100 degrees in the summer. But like right now, it's like 70, 60 degrees. So it doesn't snow hardly at all either in San Antonio. Um, so we don't get uh, any of the snow, but it does get, you know, um, cold every now and then. Uh, we were also featured in Forbes magazine uh, back in 2018 uh, as were to invest. Uh, one of the we were the 12th um, city to invest in, which is really good. And all of that is because of our affordable cost of you know the average price of home. That showed 232, but now that rose up to like closer to two, almost 250,000. Um, and then, you know, our population keeps growing so fast. It's just really, really good, healthy economy. And this is the grid. This shows the property classes. So when you log on to the Marshall Reddick website and you click on the San Antonio market and you'll see properties, each property, when you scroll down and it shows all the numbers, it's actually going to show this grid. And it actually is right into that specific neighborhood showing you the appreciation over the years, going all the way back to 1994. 
And, you know, it, it'll show you how fast um, the home, you know, values have grown. So like back in 1994, this shows like around 75,000 you could buy a house for. And now that same house for 75,000 is almost worth 250. So, and, you know, that's where your appreciation is. Go ahead, Tanya. Yeah, and I was gonna say, and one thing I really like to point out when I'm on my consultations is all of you guys, experienced what happened in 2008, 2007, right? The economies in California went drop down. So it was like a big roller coaster. So when you typically look at these metropolitan statistics that we source, um, these are pulled directly from um, NAR, National Association of Realtor. So you can find all this information directly on our website through Marshall Reddick Real Estate, or um, you can go straight to the source. But what I really like to point out here is that it didn't decline. So you see straight above 2008, um, it barely dipped, and then it just continued to hold steady and strong. And that's due to the economy and the way that the lending institutions had different laws in place for allowing to cash out refinance. It was mandatory to put down X amount percentage uh, for purchasing a property. Um, so that's one thing that Texas is known for is its stability. So that's one thing I always like to highlight. Yes, a lot of people ask me that, Tanya, like, how was it in 2008, 2009, 2010, you know, with the, with the market, and we barely, um, we barely got affected. Uh, you know, the only thing it really did <clears throat> was it slowed down the, um, the construction, the new construction. So, like, your chain builders, like Lennar, KB, Toll Brothers, they, they weren't DR Horton. They kind of slowed down with that. Uh, but that was based off of the national, you know, crisis. Uh, but as far as homes, um, people weren't really losing their homes in San Antonio. I mean, they, they the values held very well. Um, we heard about other parts, especially California, but it didn't hardly affect us. And if anything, um, if you owned a rental property in San Antonio during that time, we were short inventory. Everybody was looking to rent because it was so hard to get approved for a mortgage during that time. So the, the vacancy rate was very low um, because but, cause we were short supply of, of rental homes. But, you know, it just shows you how safe of a market San Antonio is, even during the roughest time that hit in 2008. Um, so that gives a lot of people a peace of mind, and that's why they like to invest here. And, of course, the job market is great. Uh, and then you see the property classes. Um, there's property classes on on this grid. Luxury, we hardly sell luxury because they sit for a long time. They have a long vacancy rate because it's a very small pool of people looking to rent for luxury. That's high dollar. Most of the stuff I sell is going to be class A and class B properties. Those are the two most popular. Uh, they're class A and class B. It's Due to the price, um, Class A is going to be around two hundred thousand on it, and then Class B is going to be under two hundred thousand. Um, once you start getting under like one hundred and fifty, then it would it would go into the C class, which I, I don't sell as much because you're dealing with a, a high maintenance property that's not made, you know, not in a good area, um, and you're going to have a lot of repairs. And we don't recommend selling B properties at all. That's just really rough area. We wouldn't recommend to manage. So uh, we we like to stick with the A and B. And sometimes we'll do the C. If, if they're a seasoned investor and they don't mind paying a, you know, a little bit more for repairs, we do sell some Cs. But the A's and the B classes are going to be the most popular. And I did um, carefully handpick some properties. These are new listings that haven't been on the market that long. They're available now. Um, they could go under contract at any time. Keep that in mind. But these are carefully hand-selected properties that I personally selected because I know these areas very well. And we manage a lot of properties in these specific areas that I targeted these homes. And they are very high demand areas. And the reason is because it's a nice neighborhood with really good schools. And it's close to where everything's at, close to the businesses, 
lots of entertainment and restaurants nearby. Um, but yeah, so this property located on Silverton Wynn, it's a nice one-story property. It's got that beautiful brick in the front. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,544 square feet. So it's pretty spacious, um, or I'm sorry, 1,564 square feet. And it was built in 2006. Most of the properties that I present are not gonna be too old at all. I mean, they're gonna be built from 2000 on up with the exception of the multifamily. The multifamily will get some like from the 80s and 90s, but not anything, you know, before that. But the single family homes, all of them, almost all are 2000, built 2000 on up. So 2006, it's a very well maintained home. It has really good schools um, and it's close to um, the Stone Oak area. The Stone Oak area is very well known for having high priced homes. So this is, it's hard to find homes priced this low in that area, but there are some. They just go off the market quickly because they get usually a lot of offers. But this one's still available. Um, you know, it's got tile flooring, it has a breakfast bar, it even has an office slash study room, you know, room. They could be used as a fourth bedroom, but if it doesn't have a closet, we, we have to call it an office or study. Uh, but the price is 210000 um, if you look at the breakdown here, um, after everything is paid, uh, the monthly income in green is your, your cash flow. That's your monthly cash flow after all expenses, after your mortgage payment, after the taxes, after the insurance, after uh, everything's paid off and the management fee, that's what you're left over every month. So keep in mind, with single family homes, a lot of times people just equal out their first year. Uh, where they're just equaling out, not cash flowing much. My first investment property, I just equaled out. However, each year we tend to raise rent, usually by 50, yeah, $50 a year. So if someone's paying $1,500 a month rent, the next year we'll renew it at $1,550, then the next $1,600 and on and on. And since it's been going up so fast in San Antonio, the rental rates have been going up in the, these nice neighborhoods after like your fifth or sixth year, your cash flow is not going to be 282. It's going to be closer to the 500, 600, and then a month, and then down the road, even a thousand, like 10 years from now. And then you'll have that appreciation over the years. You're going to have an equity. That's the best part. Uh, so the annual um, return on your investment on the bottom there in green showing 19.40%. That's almost 20%, uh, you know, return on your money. That's really good. So, um, you know, anything that, you know, cash flows, uh, you know, 200 or more on a single family home, I highly recommend because again, yeah. it's most of the time they just equal out. Go ahead, Tanya. Oh, I was just, I was just going to chime in on what you were saying about the home. Um, some things that I noticed Christina really tries to lean towards um, when she's hand selecting these investment properties for you guys is she'll try to find properties that have hard surface flooring, right? Because what does that mean? That means it's kind of tenant proofing the property from carpet, you know, having to replace carpet, et cetera, over time. Um, so like she was saying, they have tiled flooring in this home. I always like to point that out. That's an upgrade that we don't necessarily think about, but that's you know, like, that's a, a pretty good chunk. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to remodel your property, but just think about having that done. Good thing our property management team is there to help oversee that for you. Um, so when the time comes, if you ever wanted to upgrade instead of replacing with carpet, you could spend the extra couple thousand and put in tile or a, you know laminate vinyl flooring, something like that that'll be a little bit more tenant proof. Um, I really think that's helpful. Um, a little bit more about the numbers off to the right, you'll see that there are asterisks. Things that have the asterisks by them are projected rates. All these numbers um, where kind of I can come in on a one-on-one -on -one basis with you is to go over how you can do like a plug and play type um, with your mortgage interest rate. Everybody is different. This is the average for an investment property. I know a lot of people that may not be buying investment properties today, they always say, 
I saw online for 3.65. And, you know, that is for typically if you read the fine print interest rates, that's for like usually a 15 year fixed primary home. So there's a difference between the interest rate that you'll receive for an investment property versus a primary home. So when you speak to a lender, we have a great lending team that we can connect you to to figure out quickly what your affordability is. Um, they'll determine based on your um, income, your current FICO score, what your personal interest rate is um, at this time so that you can plug in your rate. Um, and then those 15-year ROIs, I would be happy to go over with you in detail where those numbers are coming from. It's based on appreciation of the market over the last 20 years. It's general uh, averaged rate. Um, so it's not of current, it's over a historic period of time that we're averaging. So really awesome stuff. Um, Christina and I are here to help you break it down and understand why these investments are so awesome. And these are fixed numbers. Like Christina said, I want you guys to remember that along with, you know, time comes inflation, right? So that's what Christina's talking about on increasing rents typically on a regular basis for what the market will bear. Um, and every year at assessment, our property management team will recommend and suggest the best um you know, got way to go and grow with your current tenant or when it comes time for a renewal uh, with a new tenant. Um, but yeah, so we're we're all over that working with you for you. So that's all I wanted to add is, you know, how much care and effort that Christina does in picking out these properties for you guys. And it's not, it doesn't scare off the tenant when we increase the rent by $50. A lot of people go, oh, am I going to scare off the tenant? Um, that's very rare because it costs them more money to have to move than to pay the extra $50 a month, you know, and then have to put down another deposit and then the cost of moving and all of that. And then when they shop around, the rents are going up everywhere else anyways, and they do it in apartments also. Um, if they do give us any pushback, we always let you, we would always let our owners know, hey, this tenant's kind of pushing back. What do you want to do? Do you still want to do the increase or you want to keep it the same? But that's very rare, you know, so just giving you that that heads up on there. And then also um, this, in, this shows you numbers uh, if there's a vacancy and maintenance needed. So in case you have to do repairs and there's a vacancy, you will be in the negative for that time, but it's not going to happen um, it's all the time. You're not going to have an, a vacancy every month and you're not going to have repairs every single month. That just gives you an idea in case that happens, you know, what then what you're, what you're going to be negative, which this one shows $17 negative. Uh, but then again, once we find a tenant and we, you know, find a qualified tenant and then there's no repairs, it's, you know, it's, you're going to cash flow that that's a 282. So, um, and let's go on to the next property. This is a nice property. It's real big. It's located on 123 Roswell Canyon. It's near, it's, it's actually close to one of my investment properties that I own, like literally down the street. It's a good area because it's close to the military base, easy access to the highways, like three minutes away from the highway, but you can't hear or see the highway from this neighborhood. It's a quiet neighborhood, but it's close to lots of businesses. Uh, there's the uh, Westover Hill Shopping Center right across from this area. Um, the elementary school is located down the street and the middle school is um, right next to this neighborhood. So uh, people like to have the neighborhoods near the schools. It makes it more um, convenient when they drop off their kids or pick up their kids. They want to be close to where everything's at. And this is definitely a high demand location. Uh, it's only for 200000 It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath. So there's a half restroom downstairs because it does have a two story and it was built in 2003 and it's 2,421 square feet. So it's got a lot of space. A lot of people ask, well, should I buy a one, a small one story or a two story? Well, you know, it really depends because, um, you know, when people call and call us for homes to rent, 
if they have a bigger family, usually when the kids get bigger, like teenagers and stuff, they usually don't want to be in a small one story. They feel cramped. So they want to move into a bigger house. So that's where the two story comes in, where the kids have their own game room upstairs. The smaller one story, I usually see people like um, with a new family, maybe it's just a couple with a baby where they don't need all that space. Um, but then when they get more kids and their family grows, you know, they feel kind of tight in a smaller house. So the, the bigger homes definitely do rent out just as fast as the smaller homes. So just to give you that, that detail. Um, and then, you know, um, as far as the more space, you can get bigger, you can get higher rent because it's more space, more square footage. And uh, this rent, we could get 1650 a month. And uh, after all expenses, you're cash flowing over 250 a month. Great, great buy. And this whole home was completely renovated, by the way. Brand new interior paint. It's got granite countertops in the kitchen. There's a kitchen island. The master, um, the master bedroom has a separate shower and tub combo. So it, it, it's, uh, it's separate. It's really nice. It's a garden tub and then the, the shower. Uh, it's a huge walk-in closet. Very huge. And of course, it, it's got the two-car garage. The backyard has a deck. It's really, really nice. And there's a loft, or we, can, we also call it a game room, which is just extra space upstairs that's located upstairs that you can use as a study or the kids could use as a game room, whatever you want. But it's a really nice property. Very high demand. It's really close to my investment property. So let me go to the next property. This property is located at 11931 Silver Path. It's located on the northwest side of San Antonio. Uh, it's uh, in the middle of like sandwiching between two high end areas. It's the right side is Colotus, which is a nice neighborhood, high end though. So it's hard to find homes affordable in that neighborhood because they're all like three, four hundred thousand. And the other side of this neighborhood is Alamo Ranch, also high end. So this in the middle, the zip code is right in the middle of those two high-end areas, and the schools are really, really good. It's a spacious, uh, you know, two-story, built in 2009. It's 2,288 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half staff, for a price at 208000 What a bargain. I mean, I love our, our home prices. It's just wonderful to have uh, that affordability. Um, this home does have a den. A, a loft upstairs. It's another like a game room. Stainless steel appliances, and there is a kitchen island as well. People love to have kitchen islands. That's like a selling point. You know, um, it just helps rent it out faster. Um, the master ba uh, bathroom has the dual sink. You know, his and her sink. Um, there's an open deck in the back. Two car garage. Very long driveway too. So you can fit like four cars on that driveway. It's, it's really spacious. And after all expenses, you're cash flowing uh, like right at $219 a month. So it's really good. I can rent this out for $1,575. Beautiful neighborhood. There's a lot of amenities in that neighborhood, including a pool for the neighborhood, a park, jogging trails. Anytime you buy a home that has amenities in the neighborhood, the tenants tend to stay longer because they get comfortable with their family there. You know, they don't want to move their kids out of the school. So they stay there, usually the duration of the school time, you know, so if their kids are going to the high school or the middle school and they start making friends with the neighbors and the neighbor's kids, you know, and all of that. So it's, it's really good to, um, you know, if I could find a home that has the, the neighborhood amenities, it really does make a difference with the how much longer the tenant is going to stay in the property um, because they, they enjoy the they get to enjoy that the amenities so let me go on to the next property that i went to on the slide for first or before this okay this is a duplex i've actually sold quite a bit of these duplexes this past year this this is a um, a two-unit duplex it's located in new frontals the New Braunfels is like a huge suburb outside of San Antonio. It's like um, only 15 minutes outside of San Antonio. So it's very busy area um, and it's been growing so fast. It's located between Austin and San Antonio. 
So the people that rent homes here, um, you, they either work in New Braunfels or a lot of them work south of Austin, downtown Austin, because it only takes about 30 minutes to drive from New Braunfels to Austin, about 30 minutes. It takes me longer to drive in, in like where I live in San Antonio to the medical center where our office is. It takes me like 40 minutes during traffic. So it's not a bad commute. And then um, 15 minutes outside of San Antonio, you get a lot of people that work in, you know, San Antonio. Our property manager actually lives in New Braunfels, you know, and so she, you know, it takes like her 20 minutes from the, off, you know, from where she lives in New Braunfels to get to our office in the medical center. Uh, we do get a lot of military that, that live here um, because the base is only 15 minutes away. Um, and there's a lot of recreational stuff to do in New Braunfels. It's uh, the home of the biggest water park in the country called Schlitterbahn. It's a German word for, uh, you know, water park. But it's a huge water park, and it's located in New Braunfels. So we get a lot of tourists from all over that go to that water park. Um, and it has two major rivers that run through it, the Guadalupe River and the Comal. That's a huge attraction. People love to go out there and tube during the summer or just hang out there. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Um, there's no bad part of New Braunfels at all. So that's another thing. A lot of people like to live there because the schools are good and it's a safe area. So these, this, this teen at duplex is brand new. Um, so these are, you know, they're finishing off the neighborhood. They only have like eight left. Um, this neighborhood's connected to a single family neighborhood that are brand new homes called Century Homes. And those homes are averaging 250 on up to so the 300,000 price range. So it is a high end area and the rents are high here. So you could get this property for right under 380,000. So it's 379,900 brand new. Um, it's two car garages on each unit, which is very hard to find a duplex that has two car garages on each side. Usually I only see one car garages, if that. Um, each unit gets a, their own privately fenced in backyard. So they're not sharing a yard. They don't, you know, it's, it's fenced in private with a patio. Um, the flooring is, there's no carpet whatsoever, even in the bedrooms. It's all the same flooring. It's the concrete staying flooring, which looks really contemporary and nice, really easy to maintain. Granite countertops in the kitchen and in all the bedroom or the, the restrooms, it's granite countertops. Tile backsplash for the, uh, the, the showers, it looks really, really nice. Upgraded counter, kitchen countertops or cabinets, it's very contemporary looking. Track lighting. And it's, a, it's high ceilings. The ceilings are high there. So it, it feels really open and big. It feels more like a house when you walk in, not a duplex. So it's very, 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 very popular. Um, they, it, they include the refrigerator with the appliances in the hair as well. It comes with the refrigerator, dishwasher, built-in microwave. Um, so it's really, really um, investor friendly. Um, you know, it's pretty much moving ready. And uh, after all expenses, you cash flow over 450 a month. Keep in mind, each year we're we're going to raise the rent, so your cash flow will keep increasing each year. And the projected R ROI is over 17 percent, which is really really good. Um, and a lot of these are going to be ready by January timeframe. You can contract, and it'll be ready to close in January, which is perfect because it's right after the holidays. So, you know, you don't have to put the money down until close. You just have to put down a deposit of 3500 to hold it. And then once it closes in January, that's when you put your money down and close. So another good thing I want to say about that, that duplex before we go into the fourplex is we are pre-leasing those properties right now because we have a partnership with the builder. Our property management team has a partnership with the builder that um, we're, they're allowing us to pre-lease these units. So we could actually sell you some that already have tenants in it and they're just moved in, you know, so the leases are gonna be all, all, all annual year leases. Some I have one, just one tenant on one side, the other is empty, some have two. So yeah, they're going fast, but yeah, just hit me up or, you know, contact Tanya and I, and I'll help go over those details with you. Um, there's the pictures um, for the interior units. We have the walkthrough videos to send to you as well. 
Uh, so let me go into this next property. It's a fourplex. It is an older property built in 84, but or I'm sorry, 86. But this area is a very established, well-maintained area located in the medical center. The medical center is a very busy area in San Antonio. That's where tons of hospitals, clinics, outpatient uh, clinics, and businesses are located. And that's where USAA, one of our big employers, is located in the medical center. We also have lots of restaurants there. And um, they pretty much ran out of land in the medical center. So the land's very pricey. So it's hard to find properties uh, in the medical center. Um, so this one is actually available and is priced at $490,000. Um, it all units are tenant occupied. A lot of these are long-term tenants too. Some of them, there's one that's been in there for like 10 years. Uh, so, you know, it's very um, affordable for them to live here because like the prices for the rent, you know, are around 900 or a thousand depending on the unit. So um, the more um, newer like apartments in the medical center charge like 14, 1500, you know? So if, you, if people want to live in the medical center because they work there, these go really, really fast, you know, um, and they're nice inside. They're, um, they are very nice inside. Um, they're two bedrooms, one and a half bath. There's a half restroom downstairs and there's a, a restroom upstairs and uh, it's an open floor plan. Uh, each, um, there's a private deck in the back. So each unit has a private fenced in like patio, um, you know, so, and then it's perfect for roommates as well. Um, but it's really close to the medical center, which makes it very high demand. The cash flow after all expenses is $615 in the annual ROI is at 12.26%. But keep in mind that cash flow will keep increasing as we raise rent, as well as the equity, the appreciation. So any of your, you know, if you're interested in buying a fourplex, we have one under 500 grand, really wonderful. And again, I'm telling you, that location in the medical center is very busy. It's one of our busiest areas. Uh, I always like to stick with the medical center, which is located on the northwest side and then the northeast side. Those are the two areas we stick to because they're very high demand. And those properties I showed you are either in the northwest or the northeast um, and then the medical center. So I'll leave it to you, Tanya. All right. Are you guys ready for your second poll? The property I liked the best tonight were, and then just go ahead and you can, you can select one of the following, um, and then it'll kind of give us an idea of what we can share with you on follow-up calls, follow-up, anything that you guys request. Um, let us know which properties you liked best. All right, it's pretty even. That's a great thing because then we'll have lots of different inventory to share with each of you. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Gonna move on a little bit more about us. If you guys don't know who we are, it's your first time, your friend referred you to us to come check us out, or maybe you just found us online. Go ahead and look us up. We have a very long standing history. Social media is a powerful tool. Um, one thing that could help us dive in a little bit deeper to the specifics of the makeup of this market, the economic climate. Remember those eight or nine areas of interest as to why we pick properties. Go ahead and let me know at the end of this presentation, I'm gonna have little notes for you to write what it is that you want me to share more with you to help you grow and get further closer to your goals. Uh, this would be an excellent thing to ask for. Uh, what it is that I do on a real estate consultation is we do goal setting, we evaluate options of how you can get there, when you decide it's the right time frame, what that really means, is when is that possible for you to get to where you want to be for what you want to buy, setting what criteria you want to buy, whether that's a single family, multifamily, whatever type of investment that's best for you and identifying which area of the market you want to buy in. And then I am able to introduce you to all the key players like the lender to pre-approve you, the insurance person, 
Christina will be able to help you get in touch with a great home inspector, a couple options there so that we can really evaluate your property once your offer is accepted. So we have a lot of great players and we're just here to help. These are pictures of me with happy clients, sold clients. These are all of me helping people locally in California buy and sell. Um, but in turn, this could be you and Christina in San Antonio. So who's next, right? I want to keep you guys happy. Here's how I can keep you happy. We're ready for the third poll. Let Christina and I know what it is that we can do. You can select as many of these as you like. Um, so if you only want the first two, you can fill in the bubbles for the first two. If you want just the third one or all the above, you're in charge. Go ahead and click those buttons. Let us know why you've been on this call and what you need to continue learning to, to help you get to your next steps. We're here to help. So let's go ahead. A lot of you guys want the data pack. You still want to learn a little bit more. That's fantastic. Um, almost 40% of you want all the above. We can definitely arrange that, and I look forward to it. All right, this is me. This is what I do. Business degree, broker, realtor. Love what I do. Go ahead, take a picture of my cell phone number. You can text me directly email me directly, call my office line. We're here to help you guys continue to be successful. I just wanna thank you so much, Christina, for your time and energy and all the care that you put into selecting these properties so that we get continued and repeat business. Um, it's always a pleasure to work with you. Uh, so thank you so much for your time. And most importantly, thank you all for being on the call. Um, if you guys have any questions, like I said, we'll be following up with you at the end. So thank you and have a great night. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Goodbye.